Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you my opinion about some BTS information that we just heard. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I was kind of sort of able to see the Busan Yet to Come concert. It was really good from BTS. My God, that song. I love that song and the choreography was amazing. Their synchronization was up to par. It was awesome. What can you expect? It's BTS. It's, that's just what they do. Um, as everybody else, I had on Weavers and I had Never Now both running. Uh, Never Now was more stable, ended up going on for a little bit longer than Weavers did. Weavers went down fairly quickly. Never actually hold like held on for a little bit more, and then it went off. I missed maybe what was it like three? I missed. I was in the middle of Save Me. I missed Butterfly. I missed UG. I missed Cipher Part Three. Unfortunately, even though Cipher Part Three is the last time they were going to be doing that, I didn't see it live. I'm very sad. Um, but I was thank you Army who actually recorded it. I was able to watch it later on. And then I may or may not have found some illegal streams and I watched the rest of the concert, um, albeit with no subtitles. So you're kind of gathering information here and there and then waiting for the amazing army who translates to actually translate the men's so that you can pretty much know what they said. So I did that, ended up watching pretty much the entirety of it, of it except for like those three songs and kind of the beginning of it. Um, it was amazing. I am so sad that I was not able to go to Busan to see it. It's fine. So many people were not able to. We were just not expecting the, what was it, like 40 something, 70 something million people who were going to watch. They were expecting like 15, like 15 million. It's like, oh, never mind. It's 14, like 40 million. Never mind. So servers did not handle that well. It's fine. We're able to see it. I'm hoping that they actually do like a live, like a live play or they put it back up. And since it was a free concert, it's not like we need to, we we're paying for it or maybe they could make it pay. I don't know. I'm hoping that they put it on so that we can actually see it in HTV for the entirety of it. JTBC was ended up being like the MVP of this that no one expected because pretty much every live stream was somebody from Korea literally live streaming JTBC or somebody who had a VPN able to do it. My VPN does not have Korea, so I was not able to get into GTBC, but thank you to the army who did stream it. Twitch ended up being clutch for that. It was really fun. It was really nice to see um, having them do so many songs, and there was old songs and new songs, and it was just very much a celebration, and they're meant about staying with us and being together for 10 more years, 20, 30 and them asking us for trust. I think that that's one of the things about BTS and ARMY is that there is a lot of trust with each other. So I don't think that we're going anywhere. And then today came the announcement that Jin is enlisting. BTS will be serving military service in Korea and Jin is the first one to go. He did mention that he has his album AK single with a surprise collab coming during the concert and we're waiting on that the announcement said that his schedule will be finished in october so that means that that song is coming pretty soon it, we're already pretty much halfway through october so i'm expecting a drop very randomly it's gonna be I, and i think jane is gonna be like surprise here you go this is my single um yes so it was kind of like a boss move because and not no shade don't mean anything by it but it's it's been so long since the government has been like yeah no maybe let's see let's wait let's see let's wait and they keep pushing everything back and i can only assume how nerve-wracking that has to be not knowing if you're getting exempt or not and not knowing how to schedule your life and all of these commitments because you don't know if you're going or not and at the same time the whole chaos in korea with people being like hey they should not be exempt yes they should and then like the public opinion as well so it was a boss move of them to be like hey the government said let's wait until after busan to see they ended up doing a free concert that pretty much moves busan like they revitalized that seaport town 
everybody in Busan is so like, oh my gosh, we're so grateful for them. They made so much. They didn't get a single penny from that because it was a free concert and they put on such a great show. And then be like, hey, we're not going to wait for you to decide. We're deciding ourselves and we're going to do it. So Jin is retracting his request for extension from serving the military at the end of October. So he will be going. And I had had a hope that if they were actually going, all seven would go together for the 18 months and then come back together. So it would be like a shorter time without them. But they have decided to go in bunches. Like they will go when they need to go. And they will be technically turning, hopefully, as an OT7 by 2025. So it will be two years and two months if i did the math correctly that we won't have ot7 it breaks my heart that we won't have all seven of them for the 10th anniversary we probably will have six ish unless yungi also decides to go i don't know when they're going they don't have dates yet they haven't said any specifically uh, we just know jun is going the first so it's just sad to know that OT7 will no longer be OT7 for a little bit that this was the last time we will see an OT7 concert for a little bit but they have said time and time again that this is not the end that they will be coming back OT7 is still a thing they will be doing their solo projects now for a couple of years but we just have to trust in them and hope that they do come back and they said they will so we're hoping that they do but on a lighter note, um, I see that they have requested or they have submitted their songs for Grammy consideration. I believe they went in for seven categories as they always do. I am hoping that they get at least the normal pop group one that they've had for the last two years. Um, hope that this is their year. But I also have seen that for that same category of pop duo group, they have submitted yet to come as BTS OT7. Coldplay has submitted My Universe featuring BTS OT7. And then Charlie Puth has submitted his collab with Jungkook left and right. So I, I don't know. It's going to be fun. It's probably going to end up being BTS against BTS against BTS. But at the same time, it'd be like sad. <laughs> because let's see, for example, like, you all know my bias is JK, so like I would be ecstatic for him to get nominated and be the first K-pop soloist to be nominated for a Grammy. I would be ecstatic if he wins, but at the same time, it's like it's kind of sad for the other six because they've all been nominated together, and I feel like he would want to win with his brothers. But you know what? The universe knows what's happening. This is I feel like this is their year. They've really time and time again have shown their worth and how much they move people, not just through their songs but through their actions so yeah so that's kind of my thoughts we just have to trust bts uh wait for them and then just really support each member in their solo endeavors until we have them all together again so thank you guys so much for watching please click the like button so that i know you like what i told you click the notification bell to get notified when i post which is weekly on thursdays and click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please leave a comment below with your opinions and sending love to the boys because they are our boys and we will forever be army. We're in this bang bang shit for life. Um, and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.